All right, I'm gonna do a quick re deck rundown on this. So obviously we have two fungal infect. I'm just gonna go mana by mana. So this is my blue black control. Grixis has usually worked out a little bit better for me when I've been playing control, uh, which would be um, blue, black, and red. So I either like a tiny bit of red, and has usually been more successful. But I finally got a list that I, that I really like. This was from uh, from the Star City Games. Uh, Top 16, like the original version was. Like the biggest takeaway for me was was the Blood Operative. I saw that guy was running three of these, and that seemed like a breakthrough for the deck in general. Just like exiling those uh, graveyard cards against Golgari and even against like a Iset, uh, like uh, spells and stuff. I did change a bunch of stuff around. I added some cards and uh, and like Nezahal. The Nezahal should probably be in the sideboard, but it's been working out all right in the in the main deck too. And I've just been siding it out. For removal, we have two fungal infections. These are for uh, for like all the birds and like elves, and uh, it's uh, it's also a nice blocker oftentimes against the non like uh, non trampled creatures. Uh, it's good against explore creatures. A lot of people are playing explore right now. So before the explore happens, you can use the minus one and minus one on it. So even if it would have become a four tree, it dies first. And it's also instant speed. Like dead weight gets suggested a lot, but I've noticed the instant speed might be better sometimes. Then we have two cast downs. Yeah, I mean, it's really powerful. It doesn't destroy non legendary, so it's a little bit of a bummer when there's legendaries. But we have a bunch of other removal. It's just uh, really fast, like two cost only. Instant speed it kills a lot of like Doom Whisperers, and there's a bunch of things it kills. Pretty sweet. Two cravings. Um, the healing is very nice in some matchups. Minus two, minus two. So it, go it goes a little bit further than the Fungal. Um, we can kill some stuff that we maybe couldn't with that. Super important against the aggressive strategies. And then for removal, we also have Raska's Contempt. This is the big removal. So when these are not enough, this will get it done. Also kills Planeswalkers. We have the fourth one in the sideboard because it is really strong if there's uh, if there's legendary creatures that we can't kill or or Planeswalkers. So we can side those in in matchups where uh, the area clear is not that strong. Because quite often, like decks go either wide or tall. So. If they are going tall, instead we can side out the suits and add, add more like uh, Raskas for the for the tall tall stuff and vice versa. So we can cut some of the tall removal for uh, for some uh, board clear against Celestia tokens and that kind of stuff. All right. So besides the removal, we have uh, we have some disruption here. We have Thor the Racer on turn two. Uh, we can uh, get like the most threatening card away or or the only two drop or only three drop or sometimes you can also disrupt with this quite well. The Surveil one also helps, so if you have two lander hand, which normally you don't like having a two land hand, but if you have Thought Eraser and it's a black and a blue mana, it's quite helpful to, or quite easy to keep in that situation. You can keep a two lander more easily with Thought Eraser because um, you have the Surveil to fix. So if you don't get a land immediately, you get the Surveil to like uh, toss out a non land again. So this, this allows you to keep some hands that you otherwise wouldn't. And then the Disinformation campaign. It's kind of like the bread and butter in, in some matchups at least against the like slower decks and uh, and uh, quite often against even like mid range decks when you start like playing the mid range campus when they are curving out like very well uh, mid range decks unless they are exploring a ton of lands they don't have any extra cards so against uh, against some decks you might be able to like land these on turn, turn three to five and uh, either get those extra lands out so they can't they can play a land each turn or just get the six mana planes walker or five mana planes walker out it's pretty sweet a couple of sinister sabotages surveils always nice to have not too difficult to cast the double blue because we are only playing two colors blood operatives i kind of already talked about uh, the way it works if you surveil away a blood operative you will be able to get it back immediately so you don't need to like if you if you surveil away a blood operative you you, it's, you don't need to wait for the next surveil to be able to return it <laughs> so you can get it immediately if you have extra life points to work with that's pretty sweet so you can get something like card advantage sometimes too with this by using your life as a resource all right then we have a couple of cards here uh, there's not really any artifacts here not a single one but uh, I mean you can sometimes use the minus two as a blocker uh, but mostly it's just for like uh, pumping out cards and uh, to fill out the curve because we don't have much at four mana So the, the original reason why I put the, these cards in was actually because I just I was looking at the four mana and I was like, what, what do we do here? Like, like there's just like this huge empty spot and I noticed that if there's nothing to AOE or nothing to single type remove, room, remove It's pretty nice to have a proactive turn four. So I added a two proactive turn four plays It has high loyalty points to to, to begin with starts at five and just like every time you press an ability you get an extra card so 
it's not bad. It helps if you are uh, if you are running low on cards, and uh, it it often time it takes that uh, six either a hard removal or like uh, six points of damage to kill. So it's been working out pretty well. But I wouldn't play more than two because it's not really a key card for the deck. Like the deck doesn't really need Karn necessarily, but it's just uh, it's just kind of like fits in with the mana. All right, then we have Doom Whisperers. Uh, obviously there's the pay life and surveil thing, so this synergizes well with the blood operatives in particular, but also with the disinformation campaigns, allows you to, dis to return the disinformation campaign to your hand multiple times. So if you if you play Doom Whisper on turn 5 and you have a disinformation campaign on the board already, you can keep bouncing it. You can bounce it on turn 6 once by using this, and then you can, uh, then you, can uh, you play it for 3 mana, you bounce it again by using life and you play it again, so that's, it's pretty crazy how it works out with this. It also has a very big booty. 6-6 six, six is a lot of stats, so against faster decks it's still not a completely terrible card because of uh, because of the stat line. It's quite a strong blocker. So yeah, those are pretty sweet. Sometimes I like side out maybe a, a couple of them if you need some uh, faster stuff. Because drawing them at the same time, getting multiple copies of Doom Whisperer against a deck that's just uh, going for your face is not that nice. It's, uh, it's too slow and you lose. Then we have the Eldest Reborns, some extra like kind of a spot removal, I guess, for Planeswalkers sometimes. Obviously, we also have like some of the big things that we might surveil to the graveyard. Just overall a good card. It really synergizes with everything that we have. We have a lot of things to bring back with this. Uh, discarding also synergizes with the disinformation campaign because there's kind of this uh, like critical mass concept for this uh, discarding. Like if your opponent has a good card and a bad card. One discard doesn't do anything, but two discards is when you like kind of hit gold. So the more you do it, and the more you discard, uh, the better it is. So discard synergy, and obviously also the sacrificing uh, stuff that we otherwise can deal with, such as carnage tyrants or whatever hexproof creatures there might be. Two has been like a good number. If I was changing the number of eldest reports, I would maybe add one, but I, I really like having two, so let's stay at there. All right, then we have discovery. Discovery dispersal. Two copies has been pretty nice. Been liking the two, so on turn two you can sometimes play this to like kind of fix the hand, find a play for turn three or find a land for turn three. It's like hand fixing, and um, well, obviously the surveil can also work with uh, with uh, disinformation campaigns and the blood operatives, but oftentimes I'm like fixing the hand with this, or sometimes the dispersal to deal with like a big green creature or uh, against Kolgari. Like if you if you got some uh, disinformation campaigns off, you can use the dispersal to get rid of the planeswalker that you didn't draw removal for so that that can also work out quite well the dispersal is something that you you, you need to remember it because I, I noticed it's happened to me a bunch of times that i i'm kind of too too focused on using the discovery part of this just to like dig for like a big play or something but uh the dispersal can be can be really strong it's an instant speed while discovery is sorcery it's really important to remember that dispersal is instant so you can use them your opponent's turn Let's say they declare attackers, then you use dispersal, the biggest attacker or, or biggest creature, whatever, like just goes to back to their hand. Or optionally, at the end of their turn, even if they have a card in their hand, you can use the dispersal at the end of your opponent's turn to return their like biggest threat to their hand. They cannot play it anymore, and then on the next turn, you can, even if it's still in the hand, they will play it again. You can go for the disinformation campaign to kind of like get rid of it for good. So it deals with some of the stuff the otherwise can't deal with. Alright, and then the last couple of cards. 3 meter, pretty nice in a control style, or has the surveil, lets you deal with some enchantments in particular that you otherwise maybe couldn't, like some of those, uh, what, what's the most common, conclaves and whatever, and uh, planeswalkers as well. Uh, flash is, this, is the speed of this thing, so you can play it on your opponent's turn, so you can keep a counter up, and then if they don't do anything, you play this. It's like perfect use for this. Really nice during combat, you can bounce one of the attackers, you can block another one. Yeah, it's just synergized with everything. The surveil for four is also pretty big with all the other surveil stuff that we have. And then last, and honestly least, <laughs> the least as well, um, Nezahal. This is a this is a big bomb, yeah. And it has helped me uh, deal with other control decks in particular. Uh, it's super powerful against other control decks, it's really like... Uh, it really wrecks other control decks, but it's not that good against uh, against aggressive strategies. So, just because my style tends to be very greedy, I've been having it in the main main deck. But the sideboard would probably be a better place for it, if to be completely honest. Maybe we could play like a like fourth thought eraser or something. 
but I've been enjoying it. One Memorial to Genius, if we like flooding badly, one Memorial to Folly. I haven't really used this too many times, but hey, like it can happen. Maybe you can get a Doom Whisperer back or something, I don't know. It's pretty useless, honestly. I don't. Maybe I shouldn't be playing this, <laughs> now that I think about it more. And then we had a couple of Field of Ruins. It's just, because we are only playing two colors, it's easier to fit in all kinds of special lands. Like double field of ruin and stuff. Oh, oh, sideboard, alright. So we have some like, uh, the, the duresses are for control matchups where you wanna like uh, get rid of the counter spells. Fungal infection to fight some aggro. When you take out the greedier cards, negates for some like spell heavy like counter decks. Disdain for strokes for like decks with planeswalkers in particular. Arkel's blood fast for some extra value against control. Moment of craving against aggro for some extra life gain and removal. Thief of sanity for matchups where you don't wanna discard. Uh, if you if if your opponent is playing like uh, like green decks and they are they are they are protected against discarding, then you don't want to be playing disinformation campaigns. And there's some matchups too where like disinformation is just too slow, so you can throw those in. One onward ego for uh, for Teferi decks because Teferi is a real pain in the ass. So so only against white blue control when they are playing Teferi, I like this. There has been some like neat situation. I, I think there was like red green. Uh, Experimental frenzy deck and then it's just like one more of the frenzy. So it can there's some there's a few other situations, but it doesn't come up that often. And then one extra ritual, one extra Praskas, depending if they're calling going wide or tall. If I had the two cost fixers, I would I would keep. I just need one. No, we actually need more than one. Then. Okay, one mulligan. I do think this is a better hand. I mean, yeah, it's like less stuff to do, but it's a little slow when you turn three or four. Okay, he also went down to six. This is a fine six and a six card hand. It's alright. Like this is pretty powerful and stuff. And like we have a cast down, so we're not gonna die too soon. Why not Waskanta? Waskanta would be fine, I guess. But it's because we have the other stuff at two mana. There's so many, so many two mana cards already in the deck. You know what would be really good right now? Karn. Karn would be like freaking amazing right now. Who's this? I never seen that before. Huh. All right. Isaret. J exile Isaret. I'm gonna take the damage because if he has like a four mana planes, I need to exile that instead. So I'm gonna take the tree. I know that I might like end up exiling it anyway, but if he lands like the small Raska here, it would suck so much. If I had a land, I wouldn't do this because I would just go with the eldest. But unfortunately, I don't have a land. If I, I might draw another four mana card. Mmm. Oh no. Oh, that's not the curve. Savage, have you always been playing Magic or did you just start with Arena? I started like three weeks ago. I had a sponsorship thing for like two days and then I just kept playing because I was having too much fun. Land! Yes. So we can't play this because it would minus three with the Raska. But I still needed the land, like we still needed it very badly. Okay. Oh. Does he not have another land? This is good for this card, kinda. I don't know, that's kinda terrifying. It's a clunky hand because we, we missed so many land drops. Just play the operative. Eh, I don't know. I guess so. I guess I have to. So we have a bunch of stuff to discard here. Like I can, I can toss. Uh, not really happy about this. Oh, 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 oh! What did I just do? Because now he can get the. Oh my God! What did I just do? What have I done? Because now he should get the dream either, right? Oh my God! I need, I need to toss the eldest. Oh my God! That's so bad. Oh my God. I mean, I got a good eldest here, though. 
but I should have. Oh my god, because he gets the freaking. Oh, I should have still did one. That was a, that was actually like game losing play, I think. And no, no, he's gonna get Vraska. He's gonna get Vraska anyway. No, no, it didn't matter. It didn't matter. He gets Vraska anyway. All right, all right, we're fine, we're fine. He's not going for the elders. Or the, I mean the team meter. All right, all right. Oh, oh, this deck doesn't fight very well when you miss lots of land drops. <laughs> I started with four lands and then we got like starved on mana. How did that happen? I started with four. This is like turn nine right now. Okay. Make your captain proud. Oh, I know that Eldest is like just waiting there. Oh, and he has to call Kari, he can return to hand too. I think we're done here, chat. I think we will rip in pepperoni. <laughs> Let's try this and blood operative, but. Pretty much given up. Wait, no operative? Yeah, I'm gonna do the fungal in combat. Yeah, this saves my planes, Valkyrie. If he tries to play the Eldest, I can, like, uh... So we're gonna, like, minus this, so this leaves at one. And we're not blocking, because he has the Eldest. Stop. Oh, he trophied it anyway. That seems a little backward. Why wouldn't he trophy first, then? He just wasted five damage. I guess he thought he might be able to kill it. Please stop. <laughs> okay, if I'm gonna win this, I'm gonna be very proud. But I mean, he has Kolkari and like he can just keep bringing back this. <sighs> the Vraska, man. We gotta bounce the Vraska here. Alright. I gotta bounce it end of turn so we can replay it. I know I gotta like destroy a token or something, but we are bouncing this. But we need to bounce it so we can replay it. Like end of turn. That's very important. It needs to be end of turn. Okay. Oh no, my one one. No. So then I need to top like a ritual of shoot. That's how we like. We need we need to surveil into ritual of shoot here. Surveil into ritual of shoot, chat. None of these are ritual of shoot. The counter spell would just let me like uh, uh that's tough. Because like the counter would let me counter the Vraska. Or the Golgari. But I think it has to be suit. <laughs> it just has to be suit. Because I'm so far behind. So then I go like suit and Doom Whisperer. I know it's a long shot, but I think that's the only way. At least one for sure. Okay, not not two. I already have two. Oh, I didn't get it. That's not the worst though. That's definitely not the worst here. Because he doesn't have enough mana to like play the the big Vraska twice. He can get it back with the the Golgari, but not yet. No, but the Eldest Reborn is a big problem too. This is just... Oh! Wait, 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 wait. Can I play like three of these and just exile everything? How many? At least one, for sure. Because we can exile the stuff in Graveyard for the Eldest Reborn. How many do we need to exile? We exile the Vraska. 
Is there anything big here? The garden. I need to exile the... I need three. Okay. So if I top deck a land... No, but if I, if I click this, I just die, I think. I think I just die to the Menas guys. He can attack with everything if I if I press this. Because I go to five. So I choose to not do the play that gets me killed immediately. Alright. So we uh we exile obviously we exile the this one. And then we gotta exile the three meter. And we leave him with the Karn, and then like if he picks the Karn, we just uh, we just give him the land, right? We choose the land for him. There's nothing with like haste or anything that would just get me killed. So we're gonna double block one of these and heal for six. But if he has like two Pacapra here, then I die. Dead? I'm not dead yet. Our actions determine the course of history. That. You may that choice. <laughs> okay. These guys don't even survive this. Do I ever uh, surveil here? I think I do. So I don't want to draw land. Uh-uh. No. No, 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 no. So I think it's ways. So the garden doesn't really, like, directly do anything. game of magic I played like ever. 